Hello, Martin and I are doing the practice problems for module five and we're on number five. Please read it. What is the mass of a K2Cr04 uh, molecule in kilograms? Okay, so this is a pretty easy problem actually. <coughs> we're just gonna find the mass of these atoms Add them up, and that will tell us the mass of the molecule in AMU. Then we're going to use the conversion, uh, 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24th grams per one atomic mass unit, one AMU, uh, to find out how many grams, and then we'll use that to convert to kilograms. Okay, so K, what is Mar uh, K, Martin? K is... Mm. <coughs> I'm looking at here. Come here. K is potassium. Potassium. And what's its atomic weight? That's why I was looking at the table, not the chart. Right, but there that shows you okay. its number, and now you can find it more easily. Oh, yeah. There it is. 39.1 AMU. Okay, and now we're going to multiply that by 2. Okay. How about CR? Okay. That's 52.0. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how about 04? So O is? Oxygen. And it's 16. Right. So that's? Double that, it's 32. Double that, it's 64, right? Yep. Now we add all these three together. <clears throat> Point 0.2. That's 10. That's 14. Right, the 4 carry the 1. That's 8, 13, 19. 194.2. So here, what do we have to be careful with? We have to be careful with decimals, not with how many significant figures there are. Yeah. With our adding, we're looking at decimals and we're to the um, tenth. So our answer should be to the tenth. Right. That's correct. So the atomic mass unit weight of this molecule is 194.2. So now we're going to use our conversion factors. So as we said before, it's 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24 grams per 1 AMU or 1 AMU times 1.66 times 10 to the negative 24 grams. So which one of these two conversion factors will we be picking, Martin? We want the first one. This one, that's right, because it will give us an answer with grams. I multiply out 1.66 times 10 negative 24 grams per 1 AMU. Now, but we're not done. We still want to get kilograms. We're so gonna we're going to multiply we it. The answer to get, though. Well, let's do the kilograms and set it all up. In order to get kilograms, it's going to be 1 kilogram Next to three zeros on that. 1,000 grams, look. Right? Or we could go like So this is the same as 10 to the third. 10 to the oh, negative 27. But that's not kilogram. what it will be. I see what you're saying. Okay. We're, we're going to worry about that in a minute, but let's just start here. We're going to multiply 194.2 times 1.66, and just tell me what that is. Okay. <clears throat> One 
nine, four. So Martin's multiplying that four, times nine, this. Four point two uh, times one point six six equals three hundred twenty two point three seven two. Okay, which obviously is too many significant figures for us to report. We uh, want one, two, four. three, one, two, three, four. We only want three. Okay, this conversion factor has only three, and it's not uh, infinitely precise, so we have to only be limited by three. So we're going to say it's 3.22, right? So 3.22, so that's the same as 3.22 times 10 to the second, right? Yeah. So we're going to, this is the same as minus 3 plus 2, right? So this is what we got here, right? 24 minus 3, as you said, is minus 27, plus 2 is minus 25 kilograms, right? Grams cancel, AMU cancel, and we end up with just kilograms. So a very, very small amount of kilograms. 3.22 times 10 to the negative 25th kilograms. 